Today, I'm gonna to be going over Google Ads phone call conversion tracking using Google Tag Manager, and specifically what I'm gonna be going over are when people visit your website on a desktop computer, on their laptop, or anything like that, and they end up calling from their cell phone, how we can actually track that as a conversion in Google Ads when nobody clicks on a button. So basically, how do we track this phone call conversion when somebody's actually making that phone call, even though they're not directly on your mobile website? So that's what we're gonna be setting up today, and we're gonna be getting started by installing Google Tag Manager on our website. Really quickly, I've been using this tool for a couple of months, Search Atlas and Auto. So if you go to surfsideppc.com slash auto, you can get a seven day free trial. It is my favorite SEO tool I've ever used. So let's get back to the video and we're gonna come over here to Google Tag Manager and come over to the admin section so that we can actually install this. So we wanna click on install Google Tag Manager. And you'll also see this when you first create a Google Tag Manager account if you haven't created that already. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to our website. And the way that I do this on WordPress is with the WP code plugin. So if you go to plugins, add new plugin, and you search WP code, you'll see this one here. This is the logo for it, so it's blue. And we scroll down here, and on the left-hand side, after you install and activate it, you're gonna see code snippets. So this is part of WP code, and you have code snippets here, but you wanna go into header and footer. And to install Google Tag Manager, you just need to take this piece of code, put it in the first box here, under the opening header tag, and then the second piece of code under this body box here. This will be printed immediately after the opening body tag. Click on Save Changes, and now you have Google Tag Manager installed on your website. So two pieces of code to install Google Tag Manager. And then we can come back over here to our workspace, and what we're gonna be doing is creating tags. Now let's come back to Google Ads first. And one of the most important parts of this, so if we come into Goals, and we go to Conversions and Summary, one of the most important parts of this is as we come over here and we look at our page is to make sure your phone number is formatted exactly the same across your entire website. So I know this could be difficult if you're working with a website that has it formatted a few different ways. There are ways around that, but it, you want it to be formatted like this everywhere it's on your website. So up at the top, you could see it's the same format here. I have parentheses, a space in between. It doesn't necessarily have to be this format. It just has to be the same format everywhere. If we scroll down to the bottom, I think I yeah, have the same down here. And even on my contact us page, basically everywhere my phone number is, a lot of times what I like to do is create one button like this and then paste it all over the website. Make sure the button's working properly and it calls the the business correctly and then just use the same exact button all over the website so makes it a little bit easier to keep everything organized but the reason being is that the way we're going to track this is with a call forwarding number and google's going to do this automatically based on the format of our phone number and how it's displayed on our website so let's come back over here to Google Google ads and we went into goals and summary so we can create a new conversion action the conversion action we're going to select is going to be phone calls and then it's going to be calls to a phone number on your website. So it's gonna be this middle option here, and we're gonna click on continue. Next, we're gonna enter, enter a conversion name. A lot of times I call these desktop phone calls like this. So just basically somebody is not on a mobile device, they are on a desktop or, or laptop basically, which is considered a desktop. But I, I will call them desktop phone calls, and I'll just say this example one. And then we can use the same value for each conversion. If phone calls are more valuable for your business, you could always make these two or three if you're trying to value it a little bit higher than a form submission. If you know phone calls are worth $50 for your business, then enter $50 here. And that will allow you to understand like, okay, every time I'm getting a phone call from Google Ads, it's worth $50 for my business. For right now, I'm just gonna set this to one. Every conversion is gonna be worth one, $1 to my business. Count, we wanna select one for phone calls in case somebody calls you multiple times. You don't wanna count that as different conversions versions. I want to take a quick break from my video tutorial to tell you about my two free training videos. My first is my one, two, three, four, five Google ads training. That will give you a process to be successful with Google ads. Go to surfsideppc.com slash training to get access to that. The other one is going to be my from zero to 5k per month roadmap. This is going to be an inbound marketing training that's going to teach you how to drive more leads and grow your business. So you go to surfsideinbound.com and you can access that one. Let's get back to our tutorial. Next is going to be our destination number and our display number. So if we come over to our website and I copy my phone number here, so we just copy our fake phone number we have set up over here, and we enter that, and you wanna make sure you have this exactly correct. So just make sure there's no space in the beginning. Destination number, and you wanna use the same format that Google shows here. You can adjust this for your country, so it's gonna be a little bit different depending on the country you're located in. But you can see here for the example, so we have our parentheses, base, and we have the same exact thing here. So we actually have the same exact phone number as the example. Uh, the display number, so this is the important part. 
this is where you need to put exactly how the phone number is displayed on your website. So you can see how it's displayed on my website here and how it was displayed everywhere else. So you can basically copy that and paste it here because this display number needs to exactly match so you actually can track this as a conversion. Now, if you do have different ways it's formatted on your website, you could always set up two separate conversions if it makes it a little bit easier. I've done this before because I've had clients who have their their phone number looks different all over their website, so I have two separate conversions, and both of them track conversions separately. So it's still gonna track your desktop phone call conversions, but it won't here. Next is gonna be call length, so how long does the call need to be in order to count for a conversion? I generally leave this at 60 seconds. If I'm really trying to get more conversion data, sometimes I'll lower it. Sometimes I will make this a little bit higher if we are getting a lot of phone calls that are shorter that are not leading to conversions. So this is really take a data-based approach with this, but 60 seconds generally is a good number to start with. And then click through conversion window. I'll just make this as long as possible, why not? I'd rather get more credit for a conversion even if it happens after a month. So. The next thing we need to do is set up our tag. So we're gonna be doing this with ta Google Tag Manager and we have our conversion ID and conversion label here. So when you come over to Google Tag Manager, the very first thing you need to do is make sure you install Conversion Linker. So Conversion Linker is available in Google Tag Manager and it is for your Google Ads conversion so that they can actually track every single conversion. So you can see here, make sure you add a Conversion Linker tag and configure it to fire on all of your web pages. So we come back over here, Conversion Linker, name it. You can do Google Ads and Conversion Linker and then trigger this on all pages. And it's really that simple. So it's through the Google Ads option here. You'll see Conversion Linker and, and that's all you have to do. We already have this, so we are not going to add Conversion Linker twice, but just add it on all pages. Be doing your, and then tag configuration here, Google Ads, and we will do, this is an important one. So you need Google Ads calls from website conversion. So we click on this one, displayed phone number to replace, conversion ID, and conversion label. So let's see if I still have this, still have it pasted there. So you want it to put the way your display number looks here, so 908, five, space 555, hyphen 0123. And then we wanna come over here and get our conversion ID, copy that, paste our conversion ID, and then come back over here and get our conversion label, copy that, and paste that one as well. So this is one of the most important phone call conversions to track. And Google will actually use a call forwarding number on your website when somebody clicks through from a Google ad. And then all we need to do is trigger this on all pages. So it's one of the interesting ones that's gonna fire all the time. The tag itself is going to fire. However, we have the conversion set up that it needs to be a 60 second or longer phone call to actually count as a conversion in Google ads. So it's not really the easiest one to track and to actually make sure is working properly until you start seeing those conversions coming in or you try to just do it yourself where you click on one of your Google ads, click on the number and make sure it's working. But if you set it up like this and you have your number formatted correctly, it should track that and you'll see our desktop phone call example one here. All we need to do now is submit this and I'm just gonna put new version and we'll do the same thing below here, copy and paste that and publish. So now that will be tracking on our website and basically what you can do and what I'd recommend doing is just doing a quick preview and we'll pull our pool line or replacement page here, doing a quick preview and entering that URL and then we connect to the Google Tag Assistant real quick and you should see this tag fire and obviously it's not something yet. So we have desktop phone call example one and then here is my other one, so desktop phone calls. So it's gonna be slightly different than some of the other tags that we have down here. For example, I did a few different mobile calls, text message, I've been doing some different, uh, different tutorials here. So if we scroll down here and we click on this, it'll count it as a mobile phone call conversion. So you'll see our mobile phone call example here, Google Ads conversion for mobile calls. We could do the same thing with text messages as well. If we click here, you'll see that is actually going to pull up our text message. So Google Ads conversion for text message. The ones down here that aren't firing is because I added an extra little layer of the screen resolution. So it's these two are not tracking on uh, desktop devices. They only track on mobile devices. But you will see here that your desktop phone calls fires. So that's the most important thing. The example one is firing. Now it should track correctly as long as when people do visit our website, they type in this number, we have a 60 second or longer phone call, that will start to track that as those start to come in from your Google Ads campaign. So this is how to track desktop conversions, basically desktop phone call conversions. And the very last thing that you'll need to do is we just click on come over to our campaign. You just wanna make sure that your campaign is optimizing for this. So within your goals, this should automatically be set up as a primary conversion action. 
You could always change that, but I'll probably get rid of some of these after the, the video. If we come over here to our campaigns and we click on campaign settings, what I would recommend doing is just making sure that your campaign is set up with an objective of leads. So if you're trying to drive phone calls, you have leads here as your objective. And then for your conversion goals, just make sure that if it's account specific, you have a primary conversion. If it's campaign specific, make sure it is showing here. I have a lot of duplicates because I've been doing some different tutorials, but this is the way that your conversion should look so that you know that you're actually optimizing for the conversions for your campaign. So this is desktop phone call conversions. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thank you for watching the Surfside PPC YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching. If you want access to all of my long form tutorials and some of my courses that I've created that I'm only putting out on Surfside Inbound, you can join my Patreon, patreon.com slash Surfside Inbound. It is only $4.99 per month. You can also join through my YouTube channel. So through the Surfside PPC YouTube channel, from any of my videos, if you click on join, you will get instant access to all of my premium content, including my inbound marketing course, which is five and a half hours long. I just published it to Patreon and YouTube. So join today if you're interested in more of my content at patreon.com slash Surfside Inbound or by clicking the join button on any of my YouTube videos. Thanks for watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe.